Hi, my name is Julio Casal and in this video I will show you how to do some test-driven development in Visual Studio 2010 and also how to associate your source, source code uh, check-ins with Team Foundation Server or items. Now remember that we are using uh, Beta 2 of Visual Studio 2010 and Team Foundation Server 2010. Okay, so, so far we have uh, planned our, sp our sprint or iteration. We have um, a team project, we have a, a team ready to work. So what we want to do now as a first um, coding task is to do some test-driven development. You know, uh, this approach to development means that you will first create your tests and only after creating the test, you will start writing some code. So Visual Studio 2010 has some very nice additions for doing this kind of development. So how do we start on this? Let's go to Visual Studio. Now for this session, I will be taking the role of the developer. And this will be Julio Casal in, the, um, in, this, in this demo. So let's add the, the team project. Let's use the appropriate credentials. Okay. So log it in as a developer. I will connect. And I I want to do this because first thing I want to do is to check which are my tasks. I have some tasks assigned so far. You can see this from the query B, from the team queries. The my task query is returning me three tasks. And the one that I want to start with is the one that is called build the book list screen. Okay, so how do we do this in the test driven development way? Uh, okay, let's close, let's just close this. Oh, sorry, let's close this. And what we want to do is to create a solution, a brand new solution. Let's go file new project. Okay, and from the available templates, let's go to uh, Visual Studio Solutions. Let's pick an appropriate uh, directory for this. I will use this folder and let's call this bookstore. Okay. Make sure you you check this check mark at so the solution control. Okay. Bookstore and let's click OK. So now Visual Studio is asking us for which uh, folder into the source control we want to place this brand new solution. So let's say um, in the uh, source control we will call this um, source. So into in your source control you will if you go to the bookstore slash source uh, path you will find all the files related to this solution. So let's just click OK. Okay, so just to make sure uh, we got the idea, let's go to Team Explorer. Okay, let's close more items and open Source Control. And you can see that inside Bookstore there's a new folder called Source, and inside Source there's Bookstore.Solution. Okay, the plus sign means that these uh, files are marked for addition in the next check in, but they are not still over there. They are just, a, it's like a, a mark on these files. So let's close that. And what we need to do this this time. Uh, let's first create a couple of projects. Okay. First thing to create is will be a class library. Okay. This is the class library. Uh, remember, we are building a Windows application, a bookstore, Windows uh, client, and we will basically use uh, two projects for this, which will be a class library we, we will call business and a Windows. Uh, WPF application uh, to display all the all the data. So let's call this bookstore dot business. Okay. Hit OK. So now that we have that, we will also need some uh, project for the tests. First, let's just delete this class one class. We don't need that. And let's add a new project. We will go to test, test project, and let's call it bookstore.tests. Okay. 
So we will start with um, uh, we will need to get a list of all the books in the in the database. So how to do that? Well, let's figure it out in our unit test. So we get here a brand new file called unit test one. Okay, we'll just um, we'll rename this one. Okay, let's call it. We will be working on a book manager class. This book manager will be in charge of retrieving and performing all the actions uh, towards the database. So let's call this book manager tests. Okay. Let's hit yes, so the class is also renamed. And we already have some uh, method stuff here. Um, we will change this into get book list do not return null. Okay, this is a very basic test. Okay, keep in mind this is a short video, so we will just we will just want to get a list of the books and make sure it is not null. Okay, so to do this, we will just use the let's hit book manager. Okay, a quick tip here to use the suggestions from the IntelliSense. You can do Control Alt and Spacebar. Okay, this makes stuff easier. So let's say book manager manager equals oh sorry book manager. Okay, you can see this is small uh, indicator here. If you open it, you can generate a class for this uh, book manager. You can just click here, but we want to do this generate new type over here because we want to place this into the business library. Okay, let's click create a new file, book manager CS. Okay, so the book manager class is already created. If we hit F12, we go to the book manager class. It is in the business library. Okay, back in the test, we say equals new book manager. Okay, and we want to get a list of what? Of books. Okay, we call it books, and seems like we don't have a book class. So, we, what we want to do is to generate a new type, call it a book, into the bookstore.business library. Hit OK. So this is equals to manager dot get book list, but again we don't have this new method. So maybe you already know how to do this. Let's, let's just generate a method stop for get book list. And finally, let's assert on this. Okay, is not null. Okay, so we want to make sure that books is a not new uh, object basically. So now that we have this, what we want to do is try to see if this test will pass. So let's just right click, run tests. Okay, this will build the solution. And you can see that the test is not passing as expected. If you right click here and let's see, for example, view test results details. You can see that the test method get book list not return null to reception, not implement an exception, which is expected because we have that into the get book list method. So, given the very small amount of time for this video, this will be a two part post. So, this is the end of the first part, and in the second part, you will see how to actually fix this uh, error we're getting here and how to make this uh, a green uh, passive test. Okay, so see you in next part.